If you're a beginner, you've probably been in this situation where you just slapped an image texture onto any object, hoping that Blender would register the texture correctly onto your mesh, but instead the texture came out to be an entirely scrambled mess. Why does this keep happening? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys why this keeps happening, along with teaching you guys how to correctly put a texture onto any complex object. Now, don't let the word complex scare you, because nothing about this is actually complex about it and everyone should actually know how to do this as a beginner so that's why i've decided to make this video so without further ado let's begin in this course episode i'm going to be demonstrating using two different textures putting them onto two different objects along with showing you guys two different methods now this isn't a pick and choose one method because either way it'll work type of situation because you're going to have to use one of both methods depending on your object now just slapping on an image onto your object won't always work. This is because Blender is trying to register the entire image onto your object. In this example, I'm trying to put the texture of my logo onto the object, but it isn't lined up correctly and it looks like a complete mess. This doesn't look right at all. And my texture has a transparent background on it, which the software is making the transparent spots black. So the first method is going into the UV image editor and importing your image texture by clicking the little file icon down here. If you already imported it through the Nodes, just select the texture file in the menu. Then click on your object and go into edit mode. As you can see, the vertices are all over the place. Now you might not see the vertices, but that's okay. Blender is trying to unwrap all of the vertices of the object onto the image texture, but instead, let's select all of the vertices by pressing A and then press U to open the projection menu, at least that's what I call it, and select the project from view. Then, you want to line up the vertices with the part of the texture that you want the faces of the object displaying. So in this case, I want all of my vertices to line up with the texture of my brand logo, leaving all the transparent blank spots out of the object. You can move the vertices with the keyboard shortcuts by clicking G and then follow up with which axis you want to move it to. So basically, either the X or Y axis, you can rotate by clicking R, you can extrude and stretch vertices by clicking E and then follow it up with X or Y depending on which axis you want to stretch your object on. You can deselect vertices by clicking A until all the vertices are deselected, in this case they're not orange, and then right clicking on the vertices that you want to move. Now this may sound and look like a lot at first, but this can actually take uh, for anywhere from 1 to 3 minutes. And it's simple to do luckily. The second method, I have a mapped out texture that I want to display on my cube, but each side of the cube is going to look different, although four faces will be different but look similar at the same time. So I'm going to go back in the UV image editor and import or select my image texture, but this time I want to select the faces or vertices that will display the certain part or parts of the texture, and instead of projecting from view, I'm going to go ahead and select unwrap. This will unwrap the vertices onto the texture. Do the same like last time and line up the vertices to the part of the texture I want this, the faces displaying. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention this earlier, after lining them up for both methods, go back into the node editor and change the texture coordinate from generated to UV. This will tell Blender to use the vertices onto the UV image editor instead of just renders, ah, instead of just registering the entire image onto the mesh. That's all for now, thank you all so much for watching, and if you found this tutorial very helpful, I recommend you subscribe, because I'm always making tutorials just like these almost every single week. And yeah, stay golden everyone, and see ya.